on the long ball for my taste. Uh, but um, at the same time, the, the fact is he's always got from his teams uh, a great collective uh, focus, great spirit, and he's improved players. And he's improved these players. Uh, and there's more to do with McLean, for example. He's raw, disappointed to take Wes off after 55 minutes because I thought that changed the game. And I think at, from that point on, even though we scored another goal, we were never quite the threat we were at times in the first half. But it's great. It's wonderful to go to this championship, you know, with all the great footballing nations of Europe and with Northern Ireland as well. Which That's is, going to be something. It's special. terrific. Yeah. We might get them. Yeah. That'll be a fight. You know, the seeding is something we talk about. Every week. You know, that's really not for now. Uh, there was talk of, of us being in the fourth pot. That may well be the case. But look, that's for another day. Let's hear from the three man of the match. We're going to go to Tony with Robbie Brady. Thanks very much indeed, there. We're just having some fun the, uh, in the tunnel area here. Elaine Carey from uh, the Team Sponsors 3 is here. She's the Chief Commercial Officer to present uh, Robbie Brady with his Man of the Match Award on what's been an outstanding evening for the Republic of Ireland and for you yourself personally, Robbie. What a great night. Yeah, that's words can't describe how I'm feeling now and the rest of the lads in there, you know what I mean? Growing up for these type of days, you know. I've seen them all important games over the years and then to be a part of it, you know what I mean? And to, to help the team and the country get to where we want to be in, in a major tournament is beyond belief for me. I'm just so proud of everyone involved and, and uh, bring on France. Absolutely, and, and to do it with, with your mates, you know, the likes of Jeff Hendrick who you play with all along. And there's a whole new generation coming through now as well. That must be a great feeling. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I only actually spoke about it a couple of days ago about uh, being with Jeff from, from day one, really, since we started kicking the ball. And, to be able to share this, uh, share this moment, like I said, is is unbelievable, and uh, he's been a he's been a great player for us throughout the whole tournament. So all credit to him. How can you sum up the spirit of this group? Because it seems extraordinary. Yeah, it's unbelievable. You know what I mean? It's just like everyone seems to get on. You know what I mean? There's there's no bad egg. Everyone's everyone's best mates on and off the field, and it's it's a great atmosphere. And like I said, I'm just proud of everyone involved. Ronnie, will he give you man of the match because of your dis defensive capabilities as well as what you do going forward? You, you did great tonight. Yeah, I did all right. I don't think we, we set pieces on point throughout the game. I think I might have to give this to Johnny Walters now. I, mean, I thought he was uh, I thought he was outstanding today. But like I said, for to, to take some credit from from not only tonight but throughout the group is a is a major achievement for me and for for everyone. Let's talk about the second goal briefly. Johnny Walters says that he knew where you were going to put it. He arrived at the uh, the far far post and what a finish. Yeah, he stuck with it. I told him before the game to make sure he was around that area and. Uh, he persisted with me and, and uh, I got one right in the end and, and uh, he put it away unbelievable. Well, well done to you and to the team. Congratulations. Enjoy France. Thanks a million. Let's go. Cheers. Yeah, brilliant. Let's go. There's Robbie Brady. He's a, a super lad, Liam, and, and his emergence over this the course of this campaign has been has been one of the stories. Yeah, I think him and John Walters are the, are the two main men of this campaign. But he, he, he was laughing there because... You know, set pieces earlier on actually we picked out a few. They've been terrible. <laughs> we're not going to show that now. No, we're not going to show it now. That's, that's been binned. Yeah. Uh, but uh, they were actually, uh, for his standard, very, very poor. But luckily, well, not luckily, he it persisted and he got a great one in. Bent it right around in between uh, the back line of uh, Bosnia and the goalkeeper, uh, Begovic. And Walters took it ever so well. And when, once that went in, I think we all could relax. We all knew pretty much that. We were going to France. Yeah, he's a lovely footballer, John. Robbie Brady. Oh, he's terrific, and he's come on uh, very, very well. Uh, I think you know when he was at Manchester United, limited, limit, limited chances uh, went to Hall and they were early. But he's come on. He's got stronger physically, mentally. Uh, he always had the skill. You know him better than I do. Maybe. You, you yeah, saw him as a young yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. He always had the skill, but now he's moved to left back. I mean, he, he's, he's. I think he's too good a player actually to be playing. At left back, I'd, I'd rather see him in midfield because he can do a lot more there. But uh, that's that's by the way. But he, but he seems a lovely lad as well. You know, where a lot of young players when they've been been promoted as being stars of the future and they're allowed leave a big club like Manchester United, they can go under, they can lose their way. But fair play to that kid. He went to Hull. He rolled his sleeves up. He worked hard for Steve Bruce. Uh, he's back in the Premiership now with a big move, uh, and he's playing at his at, at his best. Okay, very good guys for the moment. We've got to go for a, a commercial break on a night of celebration here at the Aviva Stadium in Dublin. We are going to Euro 2016. Back in a couple of minutes.